Assalamu alaikum. Today we'll talk about um, even and odd functions. So the concept here is simple. If we have a function, for example fx, and we want to know if this function is even or odd, or neither even nor odd, what we do is we plug in negative x. So if we get fx, so the function is even. We get the same value as fx, so the function is even. When we plug in negative x and we get the negative value of fx, so the function is odd. When we don't get the negative function or the function itself, we don't get any of these, so then the function is neither even nor odd. We also have to remember that in the uh, trigonometric functions, here this is the y-axis and this is the x-axis, so if we have an angle, So the sine of the angle would be the value of the y-axis, the cosine would be the value of the x-axis. And the tangent is the sine over the cosine. So um, as we have just mentioned, if we want to know that function is even or odd, we plug in the negative x or the negative value of the variable of the function. Now, like this function here, let's see. We have fx equals x to the power 2 negative sine x. So we plug in negative x. So we will have negative x squared negative sine of negative x. So saying that this angle here is x. Now the square of negative x is simply x squared, because it's raised here to an even number, negative. So what does sine negative x equals? If this is x and this is negative x, we will find that here the sine is at the positive part, while the sine here is a negative part. So uh, as the value of sine x here is positive, the value of sine negative x will be negative. So, this will equal negative sine x. So we will finally have x squared positive sine x. Now, this expression here is not the same as fx. So this is not even. And also, it's not the same as negative fx, because if we get the negative form of the expression, we have negative x squared positive sine x. Here we have positive x squared positive sine x, so this is neither even nor odd. The second uh, example is a f of x equals x cubed positive 2x, negative x raised to the power of 7. So we plug in negative x and we get negative x cubed, positive 2x, negative x of power 7. Here we get negative x, so also here, a negative x. So, uh, negative x raised to the power of 3, this is an odd number, so we get negative x cubed. Here, the negative will um, remove the positive charge, and we have negative, so negative 2x, and finally, negative, negative x of power 7, because also this is an odd number. So finally, we get negative x to the power 3, negative 2x, positive x to the power 7. Now, this is not the same as fx, so this is not even. And let's see, if we have the negative value of the expression, it will be 
negative x cubed, negative 2x, positive x to the power 7. So it's just as the same as this one. So we deduce from this that example number 2 is an odd function. Now example number 3. F of x equals cosine x negative tan squared x. Now, we said that sine negative x equals negative sine x because the value here becomes the negative part instead of the positive part. Now, what about cosine x? So here we have cosine of negative x, negative tan cube of negative x. So, negative x here and x. The cosine part is the part of the x-axis. We'll find that it's the same. We don't get here. So, we are just on the right side, the positive side. So, cosine negative x equals cosine x, as we can see, because this doesn't change. So, cosine negative x equals cosine x. Now, then we put a negative, and we have tan squared negative x. So, normally, tan x equals sine x over cosine x. So, what about tan negative x? So, tan negative x equals sine negative x over cosine negative x, which is cosine x. So we get negative sine x over cosine x, which will give us a negative tan x. Now let's put this in our uh, function. So cosine negative x equals cosine x. And uh, tan negative x equals uh, negative tan x. So we have here negative tan x squared, because here we have a square. So the square of a negative number gives a positive number. So again, we will have cosine x negative tan square x. The negative sign went away because, or was cancelled because the negative sign here was cancelled because the square here is an even number, so it will give us a positive value. So this is just as the same as fx, so we deduce from this that example number 3 is an even function. So this is it for today, and until the next time, I thank you for watching and see.